project and then we can shorten the path so let's right click and you can import general <clears throat> file system and hit finish so now it's locally available now you can drop this whole path And if you run it, it is now running locally. We will now going to make some more changes. If you may remember from Java 1, we have a special print called printf, which allows you to print in a formatted fashion. So what I want to do is I want to display my table output in column format. So right before I enter the loop, I will going to printf. In the printf, the first double quotes, you provide the long string, and that long string is then followed by the placeholders or the arguments. So for example, I want to create three columns. The first column I want to create will be of type string, and it will be left aligned, so it will be a negative. I want to create a column of size 8 spaces of type string. So left align, size 8, string. Similarly, the second one that I'm creating is negative 40, string. And the third one that I'm creating is negative 50, string. So these are the three columns that I would like to produce. Now the first column, we're going to display department, sorry, uh, DEPTID. The second column will be DEPT name. And the last column will going to be DEPT location. I have to be careful about putting a slash N over here if I want a new line. Otherwise, printf by default doesn't produce a new line. Next thing what I will do is I will copy this line 36, I'll copy it, and I will replace this, this whole output that I have all, these, all four of these lines that I created in the last example, I will replace them, and now I will going to replace each one of them with a respective variable name. So this is D part DID, this is D name, and this is DLOC. So my multiple lines of output now becomes a single line of output where things will go in columns and each column is of the same width. Now when I run this program after these changes you will notice that things just fall in columns. If I want to shrink the size of any column I will do I'll shrink the size of that column by simply decreasing this number. So if I decrease it to 20s for example and I decrease both of them to 20s and rerun this now you will notice that the columns are a bit closer to each other. Everybody got it? Now what we're going to do next is instead of declaring these variables you can also directly use rsd.getString in the output then your output statement will going to be a bit longer. So let me first break it down into three lines. And then I will going to replace each one of them with an RST. So RST.getString department ID, RST.getString department name. You only want to do it through the variables if you want those variables to be used besides outputting. If that's the only thing that you're doing, that you can certainly do this too. So now when I run this, my output comes out exactly the same as before. So it's your choice, either of the three approaches that you can take. 
Now when you're building Java FX application, the same data can then be displayed in a text box or a list box and things of that nature.